Hello, today I'm going to show you all about the screen on a Genos keyboard. OK, so take a look at our website and find out our latest deals on the Genos. And if you've got a Yamaha Tyros at the moment, you'll be pleased to know that we're offering a Tyros Players Introduction Pack with all our Genos keyboards. It's very, very easy. At first glance, you might wonder how it's going to work out, but essentially it's all very, very straightforward. Now, these four pictures in the blue section are all your voices, and we can turn them on and off going across here to our um, part on off section, just like on a Tyros. And we've got three sections that come on and off here, and they are your upper sections. If you look, when I turn them on and off, you'll see them light up on the screen. So if I wanted one section on, I turn on my right one part select, and that turns it on, a little white label comes on to say it's turned on. If I want to bring my lower voice in, I just turn on the left hand voice, and that will bring it on on the screen as well. So that's very straightforward. We can have up to three upper sounds and one lower voice at the same time. So we get a really big combination of voices. Now, what we can also do to select those sounds is we can just touch the section on the screen very gently here, and that goes into the section where the sounds are kept. And they're kept in banks. So all these here are the categories of the voices. So if I wanted to go into the a choir section, I touch choir, and I've got my page one, two, three, four, five. These are your pages, so we've got 10 showing all the time on a page, and we can go to more pages, um, page six, back to page one again, along the bottom of the screen here. So the tabs are a bit like a card index, and all we do is we select the, um, the layer we want, and that gives us 10 to choose from. And when we're on those 10, we just touch the one we want, and that changes it on there. So if I go to OO as the sound I've chosen, when I come back out of that page, we can now see I've selected OO for right one. If I wanted to do right two now, let's change these strings. We'll go into there and we'll pick a piano voice and we'll choose our sound, CFX Shimmer. And when we exit back out, we can now see we've got the two on, um, but I haven't turned it on correctly yet. I've got to now go back across to my um, side over here and turn on that second channel and I've now got both of them in white and that means they're ready to use. Um, I could turn my third one off if I wanted to, I could have a sound selected but not actually turn it on until I'm ready and then I turn it on and that brings it in. So it's very easy to bring them in and bring them out again. You can choose which sounds you want and put them together as a section and um, it's very clear. Now around the outside of this screen we have other controls. It's a little bit like an iPad. You can have your um, sort of quick changes at the bottom here. So we can go to the tempo and we can see it on the screen and we can um, tap in the speed we want. I can make it faster if I wanted to. So let's go to tempo again and go faster. This is a great feature. This is called demo and it gives us a, an idea of all the different categories of music in the keyboard. We can just touch the, the section we want to hear and it will play a demo track, um, letting you hear a few of the best styles and sounds that the keyboard will offer you. And we can just press the X to come back out again. Now, along here is our style section. This is an orange. If we touch the style section, just like the voices, it gives us the categories down the side and our selection. And we've got these page tabs, just like a card index, page two, page three, page four. And when we find the one we want, we hit the, 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 the name of it, and that selects it for us. Um, if you've got styles from a memory stick or from another memory, we can hit the user, and that will choose the, the user styles that you've got. And that also highlights the expansion pack. So if you've got uh, styles that you've bought from the Yamaha um, MusicSoft uh, website, you can then bring those in and have them available through the user area of that, of that section. Uh, we've got other things we can do too. We've got the multi-pad choice on the screen too. So going into multi-pads and we can get to our uh, legacy of all these different multi-pads that we can choose from. Steel guitar or vintage guitar or, or different sort of sounds that will enhance the rhythm section. And that's available to, to choose from just like we would have done on the voices. Come out of there. Now along the bottom here we've got channel on off. If we want to cut part of the style out, if we want to have just bass and drums or something, we've got the mixer section. This is very powerful. This is all the controls of the different sections and their EQs and things. We can get deep into how bassy or trebly the sounds are and how much effects are on each channel. 
So if we want our right sound to have some effects on it, we can go into the effects and we can we can adjust things. We've also got um, on the same main screen here our song area, song A and B. We can have audio songs and MIDI songs available to select from that section. So that's an introduction to the main screen on the Genos. There's lots more videos to come too, so keep looking out for them. I hope you found that one useful. Mm -hmm.